reaction when, when you saw that? Well, I, I think it's, a, it's another example of uh, the marketing that this this team is providing for this university. I'd, I'd like for somebody to, to put a dollar figure on what that's worth. And uh, the players have done it. Uh, I did not visit with them about that today because uh, I'm guessing they don't even know. Uh, but uh, for Oklahoma State University to be one of what would be probably five covers, I'm not four, sure, four, 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 one of four uh, nationally throughout the country, um, for them to think enough uh, about our football program and about our players to put them on the cover is a big deal. And uh, so um, we're very proud of that. There's a lot of hard work and effort that's gone into that. And these guys should take pride as well as the guys that have been here over the last 12 years. They're a part of this. There's a long process for us to get to a point where people across the country say we respect Oklahoma State football. And um, we got a ways to go. You know, I've said that. You know, we're another eight or ten years away from establishing what I would call uh, tradition, na national exposure and tradition. But um, I would certainly say that we've made some great strides, and um, the people that have been involved during this run should be very proud. It's a fair question. Your fans will will ask themselves: Can we forgive Sports Illustrated, though? For the preseason, not a preseason, but a, a cover they were on that wasn't deserved. Well, there's two ways to look at that. The first thing is that the people involved in that don't work for them anymore. So I think it, they essentially um, allowed us to forgive them by saying that uh, you had uh, people that uh, were or went against uh, rules of journalism and and wrote an article uh, that was abusive uh, for no reason at all. Me personally. I think that happened in 13, I'm not sure, um, 14, 15, 16, 17, we're at four years from now. So the, the young men in this program and the young men we're recruiting could have very well been 12 to 13 years old. So um, we all know we live in a world that people have a hard time remembering what happened a week ago. They could give a flip about what happened in 2013. So um, for us, to take advantage of the, the economics and the, the marketing of uh, what we have today. Um, they should uh, have some pictures blown up and it should be hanging in our facility and it should be out on social media to the young men that we're recruiting and the people on this team and this organization should take pride in that. Now, once that's accomplished, then you, you have to put it in your pocket and we have to get ready to play Tulsa. But I don't, I don't think that you take a, uh, a national recognition like, like these guys got today and just say that you're not going to um, comment on it and, and realize how big a deal it is because it's, it's, it's huge for the school.